was just looking at my phone going through all the feedback you guys have given me. Another thing that I hear pretty fre frequently that I completely understand is that some people as buyers on whatnot don't really like the format of having to be there live. And I totally get that. It's not for everyone. Some people, they just wanna search for a black reformation top, buy it, and that's it. They don't want the entertainment. They don't want the music. They don't wanna to have to wait until the person listed and it comes up in the auction. So. I totally understand that it's not for everybody, but I feel like if you're like me, it's very easy to get addicted. I will say I've been very restrictive with my purchases because I've been watching whatnot more than I've been watching YouTube and TV. And I watch YouTube all day, all the time. I love YouTube. I have YouTube premium, so I don't have to have the ads. So that says a lot. And I've been seeing people, that's another thing we should talk about is like the shopping I feel like it could be very easy to like slip into a shopping addiction on whatnot. I am very much a control freak. I know how to control myself. So I haven't purchased a lot. Um, I think since I've started watching it like 10 days ago and I've been watching it for hours every day, that's embarrassing to say, I've only purchased seven items, which so to some of you might sound like a lot, but for the amount of time I've been watching it, I think that's pretty good and I've been seeing in people's chats that like people's cards you guys are getting flagged and their bank account is saying what's going on like we're gonna block your card you're purchasing too much from this whatnot store because every time you purchase it pops up as a separate transaction on your credit card so a lot of people are purchasing you guys so much I literally see the same people like myself which is embarrassing go from stream to stream to stream all day except i'm not purchasing anything and they are literally buying i'm not kidding this one person bought 10 items in one stream 10 items in the other 10 items in another stream and then i was at another stream at like 9 p.m pacific and they bought 20 items and each time they purchased the seller would say oh you I'm not going to say their name. Your card was declined. You need to talk to your bank. Your card was declined. You need to talk to your bank because people are buying so much. I think it's that instant gratification and the fun of like getting in a bidding war. You have to be very careful on that app. I feel like if you don't, it's not even if you don't have the control, it's just you get caught up in the bidding and the fun. And before you know it, you've spent like $200 on a Target tank top. <laughs> Not 200. I did see one stream today where the, they were like getting in a bidding war, you guys, literally over a used Target basic tank top and it ended up selling for like $45. And I was just thinking, how did we get here? You could go get that new for $5. What is happening right now? So it will be interesting. A lot of you have mentioned that part, like the shopping addiction part and like getting in bidding wars and paying more for things than they're really worth. Um, but hey, I always say this, something is worth what someone will pay for it. So if you feel like that used Target tank top was worth $50 and you don't have a problem with it, who are we to judge? I, nay nay, would never, but who are we to judge? So I did want to talk about that aspect because I've been getting a lot of DMs about that and I think you just need to be careful, you guys. I will say though, on the other end of that, there are some deals to be had. Pro tip, because I've been watching all types of streams, the super popular people, the people that do vintage teas that sell them for hundreds of dollars, the sneaker guys that are smoking weed in the middle of the night, all the way to your like favorite fashion resellers, hit up the smaller streams because some of these people are selling things at such a steal. New with tags items, high-end items, there's auctioning them off at like five, 10 bucks. And because there's not a huge amount of people watching sometimes you're not getting in bidding wars so I do think if you're smart you're looking up comps um, and you hit up some of the streams where there's not like hundreds of people there you can source some great stuff I scored whose stream was I in and Allison Olivia oh I love her stream she's so funny she's in South Carolina BJ I can't remember her screen name, but I got an Alice and Olivia tank top. You guys, Alice and Olivia resells great. I love selling that brand. Um, I just sent an Alice and Olivia dress to thread up and it's currently listed for 500 bucks and it has like 45 likes. 
So I might have to drop the price a little, but it's definitely gonna sell. I love selling Alice and Olivia. I scored it for like $19. I'm pretty sure I can sell that tank top for close to 100 bucks. So there are some deals to be made. Check out the smaller streams. Try not to get in a bidding war unless it's something you really want. You know what I mean? And I shouldn't speak, maybe some of these people that I see bouncing from stream to stream that bid on like 20 things and win in every stream, maybe they just have it like that and you know, they have the expendable income, but it's just the people that stand out to me that like towards the end of the night, I notice the seller keeps saying, oh, your card was declined, your card was declined, your card was declined. I'm like, oh my goodness, how much stuff is this person buying? So you do need to be careful. Proceed with caution, friends, as with anything. Those are just my two cents. I'll probably do like a whatnot video a week. We'll see how it goes throughout the summer. I have my first stream, so I think it would be fun to do like what sold on whatnot, you know, and maybe tell you how much I made. Let me know if you'd be interested in that. You guys know on this channel, I'm very transparent. I love to share numbers with you. So if you'd be interested in that, uh, let me know. So the first stream is Saturday, 6.25. Uh, 8 a.m. Pacific, we're gonna be doing skims. I showed you guys all this, well, I didn't show you all the skim stuff. I showed you two boxes. And you guys, I realized I have eight boxes. I thought I had six of these boxes. And I did notice that some of the boxes have different stuff in them. So yeah, come to the live stream, friends. Check it out, hang out with me. It's gonna be fun. I don't know how many things I should start with. Each box of skim stuff has 40 items in it. I think that might be too much for my first stream. Like just getting through the technology of it all, I might cut that in half and just do 20 items. So I don't know how long the stream will be, but hopefully you guys join me and hopefully you enjoy these little chatty videos. A lot of you have said you just feel like it's hanging out with a friend. I am your friend. I am here for you multiple times a week. Subscribe, tell your friends, your brother, your mother, your dog to subscribe. We are literally, the day I'm filming this, we are 500 people away from 10K subbies. I feel like I need to do something special for 10K. I don't know if it's a giveaway. I'm realizing I have never done a Q&A on YouTube ever. And I, I have a lifestyle beauty channel I haven't uploaded on in months. I wanna get back into that, that I've had for like seven years. I've never done a Q&A, so maybe we could do a Q&A and a giveaway if you guys would be interested. Maybe we can make it fun. It could be like personal, business, work, Q&As. I've seen Courtney Common Tags do that and I really enjoy those. So maybe we'll do that. All right, hopefully you guys enjoyed. I'm gonna go change my top and film another video because this is what I do. I have to bulk task all at once. So if I put on a full face of makeup and film, I need to film a couple of videos because I have a full-time job and I'm trying to be like Superwoman with 50 other part-time jobs. I love you friends. Hopefully I see you on my first stream. Ciao. If you miss the stream, if you're watching this like a year later or six months later, I still will leave my WhatNot account and you can follow and hang out.